Hey builders, in this video, I'm going to show you how the BuildShip AI Assistant can access data from a spreadsheet and help analyze it for us. We have a template already set up. And once you're done, you can easily transpose that into a widget for your app or website with BuildShip's open source chatbot widget. More in the description. Let's get started. In BuildShip, we'll start with our data analyst template. This is a great starting point for a data analytics type workflow. It's set up to look to a Google Sheet of AI Tutor survey results. And the instructions talk to its core role as a data insight analyst, being concise and accurate, ensuring that any interpretations and groupings are well supported by the data. It's formal and professional and focuses on evidence-based responses. If additional information is required, the assistant will request that data rather than making assumptions. We'll avoid speculation and provide precise, relevant analytical insights to enhance the user's understanding of the data. Now, crucially, we've dictated that when the assistant's given tools to use, it must use them and follow the guidelines for each tool. For example, the guideline here is for each response, it must use the Get Sheets tool to access user survey data from Google Spreadsheets. This sort of descriptive instruction is really important. It covers the role of the assistant, the type and length of responses it should give, its tone, how creative or analytical it needs to be, as well as the expectations around what response we'll get from it. You'll notice we've included Code Interpreter here. This is a built-in open AI tool useful for analytical tasks. For example, Code Interpreter is able to run Python code. This might be required when performing certain analytical tasks. Let's make sure that we're signed in and authorized on our Google Sheets note and run a test. Let's ask it, how many users are teachers? Here you can see with the green icon that the assistant has used this particular tool. And here's our answer. Based on the data retrieval and analysis, there are four users who are teachers according to the data set. That's great. And this is our thread ID. The thread ID is important because if we want to go back with a follow-up question, it's the thread that keeps all of our conversations in order and allows OpenAI to go back and review previous conversation history. Let's ask a follow-up question. What are the most common challenges when learning? The most common challenges are understanding complex topics, time management, etc. That's a great response. Again, we have our thread. So let's go back again with a follow-up question. This one's a little trickier. We want to know about the data relating to the difficulty of understanding concepts, and we want specific quotes from users that are included in the data. And here we have it. 36.36% of users mentioned having difficulty understanding complex topics. And we have some quotes from users and some further analysis. So this gives you a little insight into the analytical power of the OpenAI Assistant node when given access to just a small subset of data. Imagine a more complex spreadsheet or a policy document in Google Docs. If there's a data source or integration in BuildShip, you can use this node to help provide deeper analysis in a familiar conversational format. Let us know in the comments how you're using BuildShip's AI Assistant node and join the conversation on Discord. Happy BuildShipping.